Hello and welcome to Talk War Gaming. Now you may be wondering what this rather plain and dull box is in front of me. Well, every year Mantic Games have a crazy box which they kind of put around about Christmas time. Inside it's a random assortment of miniatures from across their ranges. It's all 25 quid and you don't know what you're going to get in here. Um, but usually, quite often ends up being a lot more than 25 quid worth of miniatures. So I haven't had a look inside this one yet and I'm going to take a look at the miniatures and see what kind of value for money we're getting inside. So let's open it up and see what we get. Okay, so first thing is some Battle Zones accessory sprues. So these have got the, the crates and the, the barrels and ladders and things on there for your Battle Zone scenery. Uh, next up, we have um, a, is it a ref bot from Dreadball? A little hard plastic. Um, and also, what's the next sprue? Some Goblin Archers, I think the Spitters. Uh, there's five on each sprue, so we've got ten there, which. Um, isn't enough for a unit, but it's quite good to kind of complement any existing forces that you've got. Um, and we've got a number of these kind of hard plastic, uh, these resin plastic bags as well. So these are some Morbis, I think, from Dead Zone for the Marauders sprue. Uh, yeah, there's two Morbis in there. Um, what's this one here? This is the Hellfather, actually. This is quite good because it's in a little uh, Ziploc bag. This is this guy was actually after. He's one of the the mercenaries for Dead Zone. One of the kind of the fought. Oh, there we go. So there's a metal one there, and he's got his weapon and a base. That's not bad value actually. Um, what else would we have? I think this is another a set of rebels or mercenaries for Dead Zone. I think they're the the rebels. I believe there's a, three miniatures in there. So I think you just count the, the the normal troopers for the rebels. Uh, what's next? Aha! Uh -huh. It's a uh, an abomination for Dead Zone as well. This guy is pretty. This is the second one I've got from. I quite like this miniature as well, so it's quite a good thing to have two of these. It's not bad as well. I think he's about ten pound on his own. So next up we have a. Is it? Yes, it's a Goblin Sniper and a Orc Commando for the Marauder faction for Dead Zone. So if you combine those with the kind of the more beast things that we've got there as well. You've got kind of a good booster to a Orc Dead Zone faction. Uh, what else have we got? A, oh, there's another, is it another commando? Yeah, it's another commando for Dead Zone. So we've actually got quite a lot of these these Orcs going on here. Um, what's, I'll leave that to one side. These are some of the casualties for Mars attacks. We get three of those. So we've got two dead Martian, no, one dead Martian and two dead soldiers. So it's quite good because you can usually get these inside the civilian slaughter box set, which comes with like the burning cows and um, a few like the random civilians. So it's quite nice to have a few extra dead bodies, they're always good. And the last little sprue is. Um, what's this? Oh, it's another Rebel sprue, I think. Yeah, I think it's another Rebel's Dead Zone sprue. Um, I always forget the names of the characters. We've got one of those guys who've got. Walk on his, he's got three legs and he walks on his front too. Um, yeah, so there's quite a lot of Dead Zone things. And this one is a, I think it's from Kings of War, and it's the, is it the Sisterhood on the Lion Things or whatever the whatever they're called? Sisterhood Cavalry. I think there is one, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's ten of them in there, so I think there's like a full set. Which isn't bad actually. I think mean, these are about twenty pounds on their own. So I mean, this, this and the abomination combined, regardless of all the other stuff that you get, is actually quite a good value for money. So what else do we have? We have a Mantic Journal, which is two pound fifty normally. And this has just got all cool, all kind of different things in there. What have we got? We've got some stat lines for some Abyssal Dwarves, and there's a few looks like a few articles, both Kings of War, and if I saw correctly on the front. I can't remember where it is. Ah, there we go. We've got a Mantic point in there as well. So that's a free Mantic point to add to your collection so you can get some uh, free miniatures. We also have the kind of pocket guide for Kings of War. Now, I've got a couple of these at the moment already. So it's uh, it's always nice to have these extra little booklets. It's good to hand out to people who are trying to get into the game. But it's a um, nice little book. And finally, we have a... Looks like a poster of some sort. So we've got... Some Kings of War orcs on that side, and 
kind of random assortment of the forces on this one. And what's this on the back? Oh, it's like a giant Kings of War Basilean poster. So that kind of goes with the uh, Basileans that we've got in the bit kit. So all in all, not a bad haul. Um, I'm going to do some quick calculations and some internet browsing to find out exactly how much all of that stuff in there was worth. So after tossing up the values of all these uh, random assortment of miniatures in this crazy box, I came to a grand total of £78.50, and pence, which for our international friends is $122.30, uh, or €100 Euros roughly. So I mean, if I had to kind of um, guess a few of the prices, because like the, the, the ref bot and the spitters and some of the miniatures come with certain sets, so I've kind of had to work them out separately, but you get quite a lot of saving. I think on this box alone there's about a saving of... Fifty-three pounds, so it's quite a substantial um, amount of money. I mean, you do run a gamble. You don't know what you're going to get in here. It's kind of like a random assortment across all of the games. But there is a uh, sci-fi box this year, which only comes with the sci-fi pieces, um, and there's a generic box, which is this one, which comes with both uh, fantasy and uh, the sci-fi stuff as well. So that was the Mantic Crazy Box unboxing, and in summary, it's excellent value for money and a great way to kind of flesh out your collection for probably not not really much money. And if you don't want Kings of War, you just get the sci-fi version of the box as well. Um, if you're looking for more uh, tutorials, reviews, and unboxings such as this one, you can subscribe to us, but we also have a website, talkwargaming.com, where you can find even more uh, content for wargaming. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.